The carnage in Gaza must end. President Biden must use his power to stand up to Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu. Why is our government continuing to approve the transfer of bombs to Israel? Not only does this further America's moral complicity in the Gaza bloodbath, but it gives away whatever bargaining leverage the Biden administration might have to stop Netanyahu from inflicting further death and destruction in the region. Look, I'm Jewish. I know what it's like to have family members brazenly murdered because of their beliefs and ethnicity. I detest Hamas and the inhumanity it wrought during its horrific October 7th terrorist attack. But the Israeli government also deserves condemnation for killing over 30,000 Palestinians living in Gaza, many of whom were children. Now, I believe President Biden genuinely wants this conflict to end. I believe he truly thinks Israel's operation to go after Hamas has been, quote, over the top. However, his administration has previously been unwilling to impose a single cost or consequence that translates into real pressure on Netanyahu. Americans have rightfully grown outraged and are no longer willing to provide unconditional support to the Israeli government as it kills or starves ever more Palestinians. Biden can and must get tough with Israel. He's now threatened to condition future U.S. aid on Israel taking steps to protect civilians and allow aid to Gaza. He must make good on that ultimatum. There comes a time when America must stand up even to our closest allies, when those allies are in the wrong.